downshifts are to die for. Whoa! -ho -ho! Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a fuel economy challenge on my C63 AMG. Um, but you may be asking, didn't I already do this, Nathan? And the answer is yes. Um, but on first inspection, yeah, I did. Uh, but I went to re-watch that video and it became apparent that it's, I did a slightly different route with more miles. So for continuity purposes, I'm gonna redo this video again and I'm gonna do the exact same route this time and make sure everything's the same as the Porsche Cayenne video I did and the Volvo S80 video I did, which will be sharing the same platform essentially in terms of the route and the range. So yes, and also it's just more of an, ex an excuse to do another fuel economy challenge because they are probably the favorite vi videos I, I love making. So yes, another excuse for another fuel economy challenge. So I now need to go to the petrol station, fill up, and we'll continue our journey from there. Okay, we are ready to embark our journey. I need to reset the computers. Then we can go from there. Okay, so we are now on the move in the C63 AMG. And if you are new around here and you haven't seen one of these sort of MPG style videos, I basically take it through town. Uh, I do town driving, I then go, I'm gonna go to the supermarket again because I do need to buy more essentials. Uh, and then I go through some country roads, have a bit of a spirit of blast because you gotta kind of do that in a C63. Then we go on a bit more of an A road and then eventually we go on to like a dual carriageway and then we go back to the petrol station, fill up and then we can see how much fuel we've used. Another reason I wanted to do this MPG test again was because oh, not only was it different to the test I did last time, not by much, but it was slightly different. But it's, I, it's also just because I, I am adamant that this car is more economical than it was last time. I think I got about 17 miles per gallon and I know this car can do better. I think the last one I was just a bit too heavy on the foot and I did maybe a bit more town driving compared to last time. It was just a bit uh, unreliable. So I really wanted to do it again and I know this car can do better. The Volvo S80 did around 23.5 miles per gallon and I still can't get my head around it because surely this car should be better. It does have a bigger engine, 6.2 compared to 4.4 V8, which are both naturally aspirated. But this car is more powerful. It's lighter. It has an extra gear. Um, it's, it's definitely more aerodyn aerodynamic, surely. So it really, this car really should be more economical than the Volvo. But maybe that's just testament to the Volvo S80 V8. Maybe that is just the better dare I say it, fuel efficient car. It just is, it is maybe it is more economical, but who knows, this is what we're gonna find out today. And I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely ecstatic. I cannot wait to find out how much money I'm gonna lose, but all for the, the good of science, obviously. Because I did the S80 V8 test so recently, I'm able to compare what they're like driving through town and the difference is absolutely night and day. This is running on 19 inch wheels compared to the Volvo's 17 inch wheels. And the ride is, is, is so, so different. Like any imperfection in the road and I'm kind of like tensing up, I'm clinching like, what's it gonna feel like? It doesn't feel good. Whereas in the Volvo, I was like, mm, no problem at all. I can simply glide over any obstacle I face because it's such a lovely smooth ride. So it's quite interesting to, go to compare what they're like doing daily duties. It makes me appreciate the Volvo more having dri driven this in town. But obviously they are built for different things. This is definitely not just meant to be cruising around town. It's meant to do more exciting stuff and more exuberant driving compared to the Volvo. So we'll touch up on that later on because we will be hitting some B roads and we can fully extract what this car is all about but right now I am now approaching my beloved supermarket and I should be able to park this a bit easier because it's, it's shorter and more narrow in dimensions and these spaces are quite 
Mm. Not very generous, to say the least. But yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, that was simply a doddle, that was. My beeping telling me that I'm very close to the wall. Hammer brake on. Jobs are good in. Right, I am now going to get my essentials and then I'll meet you back in about five minutes. Yeah. I didn't really have what I wanted, but I did need one of these. It's chocolate spread, so that's good enough. That can fit my cup holder. That's fantastic. Right, let's give you guys a bit of V8 noise. Oh yeah, that bass. Okay, that's enough, it's public. Right, I'm now gonna go onto some B roads and I'll meet you there. Okay guys, so, so far we've averaged around 16.8 miles per gallon in the town. We're just about to hit some more C63 user-friendly road so I'm just gonna park up for a bit no one's around me put it in manual mode I'm just gonna launch it because why not oh, I did like that <laughs> just absolute wheel spinning off the line at first and then eventually put it into second and then it started to gain traction that was hilarious Really didn't like that, did it? <laughs> this car is hilarious. Down shifts. Okay, we just caught up with a straggler, so I'm now just gonna put it in controlled efficiency mode for, for the time being. This particular road is absolutely dire but i kind of need to use it to get to the route i'd normally use and because it's a bit of a fun section later on but oh my god these roads in particular though they are just so unforgiving and so bu bumpy and for a car like this with the 19 inch wheels and it was this somewhat stiff suspension it really doesn't have a good time and this is where you kind of the comparison comes back with the Volvo S80 because I was going down here and I was kind of just smiling. I was literally cruising along. I didn't have a care in the world. But right now, I am very paranoid that I'm going to be hit something and it's going to absolutely buckle my alloy. Like this pole, for example, just narrowly missed that. In fact, as a Volvo, I would have happily just glide over it because I know no damage will be inflicted upon the car. But this, you just need to be very mindful because these multi-spoke 90-inch wheels are notoriously known for being made of cheese because they, a lot of them just any like slight bump can like damage the alloy so I have to be very very careful very mindful okay boring section complete so it's now time to get on the move nice twisting section coming up oh yeah oh, there's a tractor coming I've got to get past that tractor safe <laughs> oh, a bit of slip there yeah I might have to add that it's like I don't know like zero degrees and it was very frosty this morning it's now the afternoon which is good second year <laughs> that Volvo sounds good but it's got absolutely nothing in the way this sounds and how, to, how this delivers its power. This is so intoxicating. Second gear. Oh, the downshifts are to die for. Whoa! Yeah, I should probably have both hands on the steering wheel. Properly. Ah, oh, this car is a joyous, but it's so easy to catch when you do lose it. It's not the end of the world because we haven't we got the traction off, so yeah, it's still quite manageable. You can stick it in fourth gear, fifth gear, 
it doesn't matter what rev range you're in, but it always sounds unbelievable. Right, we're in fourth gear right now, 2,000 revs at 40 miles per hour. Third gear, 3,000 revs. <laughs> a bit more slip there, traction, light going off like a Christmas tree. Second gear, 3,500 revs. Approaching the junctions, so we need to be a bit more sensible. Put it in Sport Plus, don't want to put it in manual mode. I'll let those guys go, so have a bit of clearance. I think we're good to go. Right. And foot down. He didn't want to go then, but when he does get going, you get that massive surge of power. That was very fun and well worth how many quids, how many pounds, should I say, I've lost there in terms of money. But now we're in a bit more of a smoother and angelic road compared to the previous ones we've been on. So now we're going to be cruising probably around 50 miles per hour for the majority. Then we'll join a dual carriageway and then we'll drive the petrol station essentially. So I suppose now is a good time to give you an MPG update. So far we've done 17.5 miles per gallon and we've covered 11 miles. And if I recall correctly, we did about 18-ish miles per gallon when we just left town. So I haven't really lost much MPG, funnily enough, I don't know how. But we should be able to recuperate some of that MPG figures back, get maybe up to 20. That's wishful thinking, but I think we can do it. But yes, in general, when I was just driving, through those twisty sections you can really see the dynamic change in terms of what this car is really meant to be about compared to the Volvo. I know it shouldn't be comparing the cars because they're nothing alike however I do own both so it's nice to give, relay some information to maybe some of you Volvo S80 V8 owners or C63 owners. That particular road of the road is really bumpy because it's amazing in the Volvo but terrible for this. Getting to the more dynamic section and like the, the, the tables when you turn, this feels so much more sharper, it feels much more engaging and I feel more confident going around the bends. I can turn the steering wheel and I can be hopeful that I'm coming out the other end going the right way, albeit the back end coming out at the same time, but I still have more confidence driving this, pushing on, despite it only being rear wheel drive compared to the Volvo's all wheel drive. And of course, with this having a bit more engagement, it's more exciting, it's more fun and evidently that kind of shows on my face so I've got more of a smile because what I just encountered back there was very laughable, very very fun indeed. Okay we're about to join the dual carriageway, I suppose we can do a little pull here, there's literally nothing around me so I can just give you a, a nice taste of what acceleration is like. So we're currently at uh, 50 miles per hour and whoa! 70! That was 70 dealt with very, very quickly. He did not like that, there's a lot of slip. Let's get past this lorry and the traffic commits. And then we're back up to 70 again. Yeah, there's a lot of slip there, he did not like that. But once this car gets going, that initial pull, it just keeps on pulling and pulling and it does not stop until up the red line. It's absolutely fantastic. You are always rewarded for ringing out this car's neck just to get up to the red line. I know other cars, you have a huge power band and then it's gone and you kind of just upshifts early so it's more efficient for speed. Whereas with this, you can just literally go forward to the red line and it rewards you with more power. It's fantastic. But right now we are on the dual carriageway at 70 miles per hour cruise control. We're doing about 1800 revs. The car's just effortlessly getting through this very easy drive. And as you can hear, the exhaust is now non existent. For any of you who have noticed, you can see my rear seats are down. I do do that on purpose so you can hear more noise because I and I do it for myself obviously because who doesn't love noise but even with the seats down you have a nice subtle V8 rumble but it's nothing like jarring it's not 
exhausting to hear for like time as time goes on. The conditions out here for the C63 are far from ideal. Um, it'd be much more fun, obviously, to have more traction and be able to go a bit faster. But it's equally as fun to have not as much traction because it does keep you on your toes a little bit. So it's kind of a win-win, really. But right now we're just here in the dual carriageway um, and then when we finish this little section we will arrive at the petrol station and fill up and then we'll get our results. So I suppose I'll see you there. Okay, C63 journey is now complete. Uh, I used 5.09 litres of fuel. Uh, it cost me about £8.19 pence and the price of uh, fuel moment is like £1.60.9 for the 99 momentum. And of course I covered 22.6 miles just like I did in the other videos. So now it is the case of using my favourite app or website which is the MPG calculator. So now we have the calculator up we need to put in the distance of 22.6 miles and then these are the fuel used was 5.09 i need to verify that yep that's correct okay so now that it's the moment of truth is the c63 worse or is it better than the, the volvo s80 let's find out right, calculating now no oh no Ugh. 20.18 miles per gallon. Oh no, 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 no. Turns out science is not everything. Even if it has got a bigger engine, less weight, more power, more aerodynamic, it is still worse than the Volvo S80 V8 in terms of MPG by about, mm, what was it? I think it was about 23.49 miles per gallon. So we're about three and a half or 3.2 miles per gallon short. Gah! I was adamant, I was so sure this would be better. Maybe it just isn't. Maybe it just isn't, I don't know. I can't quite figure out how science works. Surely this would be better with the added power. It, the engine has to work less to keep it moving. And obviously that uses less fuel. I don't know. Any scientists who watch this video or anyone in that sort of field. Let me know, why is the C63 not more economical than the Volvo S80 V8? I don't understand. But regardless, I still think 20 point whatever miles per gallon it was, is still quite admirable. I think that's still a good reading for a car of an engine displacement as this, and I know this car can do much better in terms of miles per gallon. I've touched nearly 30 on a really long run, um, and I am very keen to try and break that barrier. I want to get over 30, and I, I know it's possible because in the C63 AMG Facebook UK group, there has been a couple of people who have obtained over 30, but they've had to drive fairly slow in a very long distance. But I'm up for the challenge. I really want to do that. I really want to see if I can break that barrier in this particular car, because this is obviously mine. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below and anything else C63 related, and also comment down below what you'd like to see. Anyway, I am now going to sulk and go home and probably absolutely nail this on the dual carriageway to kind of show my displeasure of how upset I am. But that's all for me. So thank you very much. and. Bye for now. Watch those MPGs go. Whoa! <laughs> no more MPG now. <laughs>